Hey, it's Jay's the Name Podcast. I'm finally doing it. That's right. I'm talking about how I know Linz. Because she got a hold of me. So, weird situation. The reason it's important she got a hold of me. She played in Cradle of Filth. She also did some other great stuff. She released her solo, in, um, solo album recently. And it's really good. And that ties into the rest of my story. Hold on. I'll get there. So, as I mentioned, like, forever ago, and I'm sorry this took me so long to get around to recording this episode, uh, I played with her when I was in All Cut Up at this little shit venue called The Parking Lot. And she was in a band called Princess Riot at the time. She was by Lynn's Riot. And they're good. They're fun. They did their thing. Not my thing, but it was a thing. Uh, they came up to me. She came up to me afterwards and said, you play a lot like uh, Dave Grohl. And this was right after he joined Queens of Stone Age. And I went, <laughs> I wish I could play that well. That guy's incredible. In passing, even though I didn't agree with it, but to be compared to him, was an incredible honor. So yeah. Uh, after that show, I talked to them briefly and, you know, did the, you guys nailed it. Did a great job. Because they did a fantastic job. Linz especially did an incredible job. Uh, they signed a um, little symbol for me. It was like a splash that was destroyed by the drummer of the other show or prior show or something. Meant a lot. It was incredible. I'm saying incredible a lot. I seem to get fixated on one adjective, and I just stick to that adjective no matter what. I digress. Why are you listening to me? Anyway, I kept in contact, not close contact with Lens, but I talked to her every once in a while. Just kind of keep up, see what's going on. She was doing all this cool stuff, but always very small, very quiet. One day, I log on to a social media network, Known as, I'll just refer to it as FB, and I'll I just see her mention something about Cradle of Filth. I'm not a huge Cradle of Filth fan. I respect the shit out of that band, but I was still just like, okay. Didn't think too much of it. Got a hold of her. I'm like, so why are you talking about Cradle of Filth? Turns out she got picked up to play in Cradle of Filth, and she did. I know she did touring again. I'm just going off what I know, so I'm not going to dive into, like, she did this and she did this, and I'm not going to do the research. I'm just going to say she played in Cradle of Filth. I know she did a tour or two with them. And that was, it is so weird who you have contact with, and they wind up doing something incredible. That is why it is important, imperative, why you have to take everybody as if they're something huge, even if you don't like their band, even if you don't like them. Just assume they're going to do something mildly important. 
and be friendly. I mean, nothing came of that. It's not like I did anything with Turtle Fell. I've never even seen them. Much to my chagrin, I would love to see that band. They're really good on stage right here. Yeah, so that's my story about Limbs. Uh, since then, I've talked to her a couple times online. Just various things. Her and I live uh, at least an hour away from each other. So, I mean, no, it's not like countries apart or anything. But I don't live down the road. I can't just be like, hey, how you doing today? Lots of coffee. But yeah, that's my story about Lint. And I feel like because I've taken so long, and I've alluded to the fact that we had recorded this episode for so long, that it should have been a bigger deal. Everyone should be like super excited, be like, oh my god! But no, all I can say is, oh my god, I know Lynn's... Yay! Lynn's Coalcraft. She is very awesome. <laughs> I knew her before she got famous. So, I also knew Nathan Bulla. I went to elementary school with that guy. And if you know Nathan Bulla at all... You know he is an incredible drummer, and you know that he's also an incredible human being. That's all I got to say on that whole topic. I will play... Again, okay. I will just put this plainly. I would love to play other music and musicians and stuff like that in these... I would love to. I'm hesitant because one person did get a hold of me forever ago swore up and down that they own all the rights to all their music. Turns out they did not. I got Calvary claimed and a bunch of other stuff. It was fun. It was great. So, because of that, I play a lot of stuff. I produced a lot of stuff that bands that I was in, things of that nature. I am now going to play um, Susanna No Pants track. And I have full confidence that I'm allowed to because I recorded it. I'm friends with all those guys. I worked with Sean Houston. I was his boss. I love Sean Houston. He's the man. I digress. Anyway, here's a track of Susanna No Pants EP, which is not available. And it hurts me. It's a really good album. And that does not say anything about what I did on the album, because I did nothing. Literally nothing except for hit record, and then mix and master. And that's... Trust me, it sounds more impressive than it actually is. Anyway, okay, so I can finally tell you. I'm going to play the song Succumb to Solidarity, which is the first track on the album. I love this song. And I am so upset that this band is no longer a thing. This was the Cambridge, in particular, punk scene to me. They weren't the first, obviously, punk band. So I thought some of their influence. Damn it, they were so, so talented. They had so many interesting ideas. Uh, if you don't know them, I do have stuff available for listening to anyway on the a new Sim Bang Camp. Check out my website, wilterhero.com. It has all the links and all that other shit. I, yeah. Again, my name is Jason Gordon. This has been the Unnamed Podcast. Have a good day. And remember... I love you. Yeah, let's
chamber of people being led by violence Darkness over me, clear the terror, the terror The aspect of pain and red, the fabric is the time we're there Melodies you can live so much more, but we're living on your knees To the thick white race will lead to prosperity